Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So in 2025, there are two major challenges with certifications. Number one, if you are into DevOps and cloud, there are n number of certifications. If you just look at Linux Foundation, they have certifications on Kubernetes, they have certifications on networking, Linux, Istio, Argo CD, Prometheus, everything in CNCF landscape. Apart from these certifications, you also have certifications provided by AWS, Azure, GCP. So which certifications are important? This is challenge number one. Now challenge number two, some of these certifications are super expensive. For example, this Kubernetes certification can go up to 450 US dollars. So if you don't invest your money on the right certification, that can go into way. So this is challenge number two. In today's video, let's try to understand how to tackle these two challenges and invest your time and money on right DevOps and cloud certifications. I'll also tell you the list of certifications that you should focus on in 2025. Let's get started. So first of all, there are a bunch of certifications that can really help you with your job change. For example, Kubernetes certifications are valued in the industry if you are planning for a job change and if you have Kubernetes certification on your resume, it will definitely add some points to your resume. However, not every Kubernetes certification is important. If you are a DevOps engineer, I would suggest to go with CKA and CKS. Optionally, you can also go with CKAD. However, if you prepare for CKA, it covers 60% of CKAD. So having CKA certification will already help you with CKAD. Anyways, so I would say CKA and CKS are valued certifications with respect to Kubernetes for your job change. Additionally, you can also look at CKAD. Now, apart from that, cloud certifications are also valued. If you look at AWS, AWS certifications like Cloud Practitioner and AWS Solutions Architect Associate is another certification that is definitely valued. If you have a lot of experience, you can also go with Solutions Architect Professional Certification. But apart from these certifications, if you are planning to get into DevOps and Cloud, I would not recommend any other certifications of AWS. Similarly, Azure also has certifications where you can take a look at AZ900, a certification from Azure, which is Azure Fundamentals. Apart from that, AZ104 and AZ400 are also good certifications if you are planning to switch into DevOps. Finally, Google Cloud certifications. Now, when it comes to Google Cloud certifications, just like AWS and Azure, GCP also offers a bunch of certifications. You have a certification called AC, which is Associate Cloud Engineer. And also, there is a certification Professional Cloud Architect. These are the certifications that are valued in the space of Google Cloud. Apart from these certifications, I would not recommend any other certification. Right? So you might do certification on Istio, you might do certification on Argo. If you get some coupons, you can go ahead and do it. But investing your time and money on these certifications cannot help you in your job change. Let's try to understand one thing. Now, when it comes to certifications, there are some certifications or there are some scenarios where your client, once you complete your basic interview, there can be a client interview. This can be internal switch or external switch. And during this time, they might ask you for some certification. Sometimes they hire you for the job role. And as soon as you get onboarded, they might ask you to do a certification on Argo CD provided by equity. You can do it. But 
I am suggesting these certifications if you are planning for job change. That is during your job change time. These are the certifications on which you can invest your time and money. I'll also put these certifications link in the description so that you can quickly go through them. Now, is it absolutely mandatory to do these certifications? Because I totally understand you might be a fresher or you might be coming from a career gap and you might not have enough money to invest on these certifications. Let me tell you more than the certifications projects value on any given day. So if you can't afford these certifications, it's totally fine. Go ahead, do some projects on DevOps and cloud, build an impressive LinkedIn profile and build an impressive GitHub profile. They will add more value than your certifications. So even if you want to do certifications, make sure you don't skip them. Certifications can get you an interview call, but these things can also get you a job, right? So spend more time on projects, spend more time on building your LinkedIn profile on your GitHub profile. Second priority is certifications. If you have any questions on this topic, do let me know in the comment section. Once again, I'll put links to these certifications in the description. Even in case I miss something, you can find them in the description. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It's short and simple. See you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.